What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. This time taking a couple of your suggestions to talk about the newly released characters and how I feel about their implementation into Dragon Ball Fighters. Really quick, I do want to say that before Bardock and Broly even came out, I did make videos for each of them going over what I personally wanted to see, so if you wanted to see what I was looking for from these two characters, you should definitely go and give that video a watch. Let's go ahead and kick things off by talking about the character I was most anticipating, that being Bardock. As far as Bardock goes, I feel like the main thing people should take away from this character is that he plays Dragon Ball Fighters. And what I mean by that is he has all the tools and versatility needed to be a very top tier and competitive character at the highest levels for this game. Now I do think you should know I'm saying this before I've had the opportunity to see any tournament footage, but it just feels like Bardock would be a natural fit. All of his super moves can be done on both the ground and in the air, and he can really utilize the assist system and the use of DHCs to lead into even bigger combos. Now one area where Bardock doesn't necessarily excel is his projectiles. This is a character that's mostly going to be about getting in on your opponent, and to do that they've made the character pretty fast. In fact, one of his specials is especially good at this because it covers such a big range and you can vanish off of it, leading into a full combo. He's got a meterless hard knockdown, an auto combo that makes it especially easy to pick up on hard conversions, and just about every other tool you could ask for. If you were to come to me and ask which character is worth the $5, if I consider myself somebody that really wants to play the meta of this game and take advantage of all the systems it has to offer, I would probably recommend you pick up Bardock. He's a Saiyan character through and through, which means his moveset should be easy enough for anybody to pick up and have fun with. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have Broly which is a character that I honestly wasn't as excited for as a lot of other people. But I gotta say, what I wanted to see from this character was a slow walking speed, great tools to take advantage of to keep people scared, a lot of super armor, and even some command grabs, and I got all of that and more in this character. But here's the thing, if you try to play Broly like you try to play other Saiyans in the game, you're gonna find yourself not really succeeding, as he's a character that really separates himself from the rest of the cast, and I think that going forward, I would love to see more characters like Broly. That's not to say that Broly is bad, in fact, I think Broly is very good and has some insane potential. It's really going to take some actual tournament time to see what the top players are able to do with him, but I can easily say that Broly does not fall behind the rest of the cast. The insane amount of options he has when pressuring the opponent, as well as the insane amount of armor moves he has, makes it really easy to pick up hits. And I know a lot of people wanted to see easy big damage with Broly, but there was really only two different ways they could go. They could give him the big damage and make him slower, or they could give him super armor, make it easier to get hits, and scale back the damage a little. Obviously, I prefer the super armor aspect, as I think it makes it more fun for both players, as one has to defend themselves, and the other can just go crazy and have a good time. Now, as a player that really appreciates his opportunities to go crazy, I ended up enjoying Broly a lot during this week of ranked videos. And this is coming from somebody that was heavily expecting to enjoy Bardock a lot more. But what ended up happening is I actually ended up enjoying both characters about evenly. And the good thing is I ended up enjoying them both for different reasons. With Bardock, I found myself thinking of all the crazy different combinations I could pull off and what different assists I would be able to use him with. And with Broly, I found I could just stick him on any team and have him go wild by himself. Give that man enough meter and you could pull off some insane damage and armor through all sorts of hits. Nothing felt better than blowing up somebody who thought they were going to land a hit and starting your own combo off on them. And for that reason, if you were to ask me, I only have $5 and I'm just looking to have a good time and blow up some unsafe block strings, I would say that you need to buy Broly right away. So in summary, both the characters were implemented very well and I felt that a lot of my wants got answered by Bandai. Bardock ended up being very fast and very strike based and Broly ended up having a lot of super armor moves. Hopefully in the next batch of DLC, both the characters will feel a little more like Broly and the fact that they'll diversify themselves from the rest of the cast. Or of course, they could go with the one character being very standard and the other character being very standout, but really I don't know which I'd prefer. That's why in the comments for this video, I would love to hear down below whether or not you prefer two characters to be very unique from the rest of the cast, or have one be like Bardock and be very standard, and have one like Broly and be very different. Please let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below, as I'll be down there as always. And if you like this video and enjoy this channel, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.